Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a ton of new content, including a 97 overall Leon Dreisaitl, obviously impacting his team of the year, as well as three new gold master icons as we normally do. So we're going to break all those down as usual. Guys, don't forget, subscribe for daily NHL content. I am pushing 25,000 subs on YouTube. Pretty big milestone. And give the video a like if you did enjoy it. Also, guys, if you haven't been watching or you haven't watched them already, go and check out my uh, Breaking Plateaus series. I have started a new video series in going over tips and tricks to help you get through each division specifically in NHL 21. Obviously, if you're a top end player so far, I've already I've only gone through 10 through about seven or six. Uh, but again, I'm curious to see what you guys think. All right, let's get into today's content. All right. So we got our last it appears like I ha I have no idea what they're doing here, guys. I have never seen any event like this. Like the the hype that they are building upon this needs to execute. So tomorrow uh, at the new event, so 5 p.m. Eastern time, 2 p.m. Pacific i i have no idea so um yeah i can't wait like i said i have a, a feeling just because of you know the earlier graphic that showed like that grid stuff i showed it in the prior video it looks like the flash forward images they used from like nhl 18 but again they've already kind of done a rookie event but i i honestly have no idea so um you know we got a blue and green moon um cool all right all right, let's get into the cards now. First things first, let's look at the brand new 97 overall Leon Dreisaitl with Swarm and Thief. Thief is extremely interesting, again, because it makes Leon Dreisaitl a center, which is the best part about the, these cards because uh, the team of the year option, obviously, the, the frustrating part is that he's built like a centerman, but his faceoff rating has been so low and he didn't really have a, a a synergy that helped that out. So he's been a winger. Um, this obviously makes him a centerman. Even without it at 88, you're, you're still okay. That's like the lowest I would want to go at this stage. But 99 everything, you can get 93 speed and 94 acceleration with 99 everything else. End game card, guys, just like his prior one. Um, you can have this card and don't have to worry about getting another one for the rest of the game we take a look at what the 97 dry saddle looks like the team of the year with all the synergies and everything like that um, obviously he gets to 92 acceleration before spark which is the huge upgrade um, so that's you know 96 acceleration this is the one i've got uh, obviously just an incredible card and one of the best in the game i'm curious to see what he's going for real quick we'll take a look because uh, i mentioned that you see like that's not bad value guys like I mean, I guess the synergies on the team of the year are so much better because of the workhorse, but my goodness, like what is, what does his older cards have? Like 349 for this one. Like that's it. Just a, these, this is what I'm talking about when the prime times are just so good. Like this card has a ton of value, even if he doesn't have 99 skating or speed or anything like that, like that's a ton of value. And especially this one, uh, because this one has thief on it. So be on the lookout guys. Cause if you get a thief on this, that's a really good centerman, like a hundred percent. One of the buys right now are these Leon dry saddle card guys. On to the new gold master icons. We'll start with the 95 Brad Park, left-handed defenseman, six foot, 190, with three to Swarm and three to Howitzer. Howitzer at this stage, just not nearly as important. There's so many cards that have it. Um, however, it really helps this card specifically because it raises his shot power to maximum as well as his speed to 93 before distributor, which is key. Um, he's not a tremendous skater, but he's 99 and everything else. Like, especially if you have barrage which makes the slap shot basically 99 as well if you've got spark distributor um barrage as well you're this is a phenomenal card um you know i i don't know if you have the silver one i would probably do the upgrade because he basically gives you swarm by himself on like half of swarm by himself which is obviously super important um one of the better or one of the synergies that i think are are pretty good to activate um so yeah i i think if you had the silver one i would go ahead and do the upgrade if i didn't um i'd probably save up for other ones but this is a really good card regardless almost all these gold master icons are, are pretty worth it um you're looking at about nine or ten uh icon collectibles that's about 500k i'd pay 500k for this card for sure 
Moving on to the 95, Luke Robitaille. This has been one of the more underwhelming ones in the terms of the silver, at least, just because heart and soul and passing playmaker are just synergies you don't necessarily need. But now you're looking at 94 speed, 94 acceleration, and, you know, with distributor and spark, that's basically max. His shot, hands, body checking are all max. And we're at a point now where we're trying, where you can basically activate five synergies easily because of all the plus threes and, and whatnot. So three to heart and soul, which is, again, nothing good but passing playmaker does nothing for this card but again he basically activates for himself so if you have another card that has it you know that's it's not terrible um again i still think the synergies are a brutal combo but if you had the silver one i would upgrade it like if you have the uh, an untradeable version of it i would i would just make do the upgrade because again his stats alone are just before any of the other team based synergies are really really good so you get a really good left-handed winger here with the luke robitaille one of the more um, popular uh, 90, 90, or sorry, 85 overall um, is the a, a 95 Daryl Sittler. So you've got three to distributor, three to speedster, which gives him 95 speed, 99 um, shot. Hand stats are in the high 90s. You know, his face offs are 97. Really good card. Like, I think that. You know, his acceleration's a little low at 91. I think he looked more uh, like a better card when his silver came out because he got two to distributor, two to speedster, and obviously now more of it is, is still okay, but it's not as important because, again, like I said, there's so many cards that have it. Um, but he's still a well-rounded centerman. I wish his acceleration was a little higher, um, but he can't really complain. And, um, yeah, again, n nothing really to think about here. If you have the silver one, I would do the upgrade. You've got an endgame centerman card that you don't need to replace throughout the rest of the game. Um, so you can take solace and that and uh yeah go ahead and, and pull the trigger on them if you have the silver dare seller it depends on the price like if you if you go and look and see like if you go and see how much the 90 the 90 is specifically you know if it's like it's tough. if it's like 200k or 220k plus the 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 icons to do the set i don't know if i would do it um but something you just have to consider throughout all right, guys, so that is going to do it for today's content. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below and subscribe to the channel for daily NHL content. I'll see you tomorrow, boys.